Hi, I wanted to show you guys this uh, cool feature that we just added to the process runner in I think in the month of May 2015, so it's a new release. Uh, in, in that you should see, if you don't see it, you might want to download the process runner, but you should see the auto send email log. And as the name suggests, it will uh, send you the log of the process runner. Uh, automatically right in the email so if you are a you know user a scheduler using a scheduler this is this is pretty cool feature because you don't really have to look at it what happened you just get an email so I'm gonna launch that now uh, the way it does we have a little utility that's included as a part of the process runner which kind of schedules a job that will send you an email automatically so this is what you see and you have to configure the email once the first time you may have to configure that you have to put your SMTP server information which you can use the Google information uh, and then you want to add your receiver email this is the email your email address and you can put someone else in CC if you want uh, essentially I'm using the Innovera one but you can use Google or Yahoo something that can send an email out that's what you need so once that is done and then all you have to do is uh, do the new schedule just click it once you can do it for the process runner or process runner DB and you can keep all the default setting but I just want I don't uh, I, I want to email every day so I'm gonna uncheck it so this checkbox is only if there is an error then it will send you so that could be useful you know you don't want to get an email every day so this is what is gonna be just uh, every day I need an email and I only want to see the error so I can kind of receive it as an HTML or I can receive the, the log as as a as an attachment. So I'm going to receive it in, in email itself so I can see it easily on the phone. Don't have to open the attachment. And you know, this is a schedule and I'm going to just keep it like that. And you know, I'm going to probably do it my lunch time or so, but I can keep this. This is all light, my midnight. Um, and it's uh, perfect. And all I have to do is just save it and then that's it. I'm done. This is, I'm going to show you how I get it. This is uh, one of my email programs that I'm using. So there you go. And you see that yesterday I had about 31 errors and I did a lot of things. It looks like I had a different kind of error. So you can see that. Looks like there was a problem in one of the hyperlinks. So then there was a problem. And I think that has been fixed. I know that. So I should not have any more errors today. Now, pri prior, uh, you know, I had uh, zero errors, but I still got an email and said no error found, which is kind of nice that I know that everything ran, but there was no problem. You know, again, here I had a one error, and you can see that that entire, not just the error line, but entire back and forth of that entire block is sent, right? So you know which file I was trying to run or the schedule was trying to run and what happened. And by the way, it captures whether I ran it or schedule ran it. It just scans the log. You can see which file it scanned and what's the, you know, when it was and what is the scan period. And it remembers the period, you know, when it ended. And the next one it picks just right after one second after that. So you don't miss anything. So pretty smart, you know, pretty nice that you can actually get it, uh, you know, the log every day uh, if you want. And you can get it twice a day if you want. You just schedule your period, which way you want it, and you can get it. Again, it was in the process runner, and you can directly access it directly from tools menu, auto send email log. Thank you.